Hi, I'm Amber Hines, and I'm the CEO of Equalize Digital, and I'm going to talk to you today about something that we frequently get asked about that is flagged by our WordPress Accessibility Checker plugin. This plugin flags an issue, an error, called broken skip or anchor links. A skip link is something that allows a keyboard-only user to bypass the navigation and jump to the body of the post or the page and quickly get to into the content without having to hit tab, 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 tab all the way through the navigation. These are, as you can imagine, very important. And frequently there are instances where they don't function on a website where the skip link is present. So we are going to take a look at an example of this in Elementor. We've been asked about this a lot because people who are using Elementor use our plugin and it flags this problem on their website. Uh, so I'm on just a demo site. I'll sort of show you. This is one of Elementor's demos. It's time to find your luxury home, it says, and it's a real estate demo, for example. This is just Elementor right out of the box. I set up this template kit. I generated a bunch of extra posts. So I'd have some extra content and then I ran that full site scan. And what I got was 119 broken skip or anchor link errors. And it's showing here every post and every page has a broken skip or anchor link error in Elementor. There are two ways that you can fix this. And I am going to show you how to do that in this video. What does this mean though? Let's go back to the home page. If you aren't familiar with the skip link, we have another blog post that we'll link over to it. But essentially, if I hit tab, the first thing that I am going to find is a skip to content link. And this exists in the Hello Elementor theme. If I hit return, then I expect that I can hit tab. You can see my browser changed, hashtag content. So that's where it's trying to go. And my focus should have shifted down into the content. Uh, but if I hit tab, you can see I'm still in the navigation. It didn't work. So that skip link is present, but it is broken. And that's why Accessibility Checker is flagging it. Why is it doing this? We'll inspect the page. I right click to open the inspector. We can find that link right here. It's looking for hashtag content. And normally we would want there to be a main container around all of our content on the page so we can see there's a header and then there's just a div with a data element or type equals wp page and inside that there are just additional content containers that hold the content on this page but there's no main landmark indicating that this is our main content and there is nothing with an id of hashtag content i dug into this a little bit and it turns out this is a bug so on Elementor's GitHub, we can actually see that Amber Vallette opened this issue on July 20th, 2022. This one says main ID equals content tag disappears upon setting page layout to Elementor full width. There's another one that was opened by Ed Boons. And this one was open September 29th, 2023. Skip link accessibility issue in Hello Theme and WP Theme 2023. There's another one from January of 2024 from a developer elite. Skip links are not focusable in some Elementor pages. I read through this. It's not actually about them not being focusable. It's about you can't trigger them. So this is a major issue in Elementor. Hopefully they will resolve that. But in the meantime, what do you do if you have an Elementor website? There are two ways that you could fix this. I could, for example, go into my homepage. If I click uh, edit with Elementor on my homepage, I could real quick here on my hero, which is my top content, I could potentially hack this to work by going, to, I can edit the container. I could go to advanced and in the CSS ID, I could add content. Now, if I publish this change and then I go view my page on the front end and we hit tab and get to that skip link. 
if I hit return, now you can see hitting tab takes me to this first button, explore our properties. So it bypassed the navigation. That is one way that it would technically fix the broken skip link. And if I were to rescan this page with accessibility checker, I would see that that broken skip link error is no longer present for the home page. Um, however, this isn't the best fix because what it failed to do is it failed to add a main tag. Now I do have right here, we've got a role equals main on this, which got added, I think, because we added the content. But the problem here is it's only on this top hero container. You could see that all of this other content is outside of a main landmark. So it's not a great fix. Fixes a skip link, but it adds another accessibility problem, which is that we have a bunch of content that should be in the main landmark that is not. So another thing I could do is I could go all the way down to the bottom. I could insert a container, choose Flexbox, one column going down. I could then copy some of these. I'm just paste inside there. So I pasted my news in. I'm going to click on my container, click add new container inside there. I'm going to copy my testimonials and I'm going to paste that testimonials inside there. All right. So what I've done is I have moved all of the page content into a container. And then what I can do is I click on this container and under the layout settings, additional options, which is down at the bottom, there's an HTML tag. I can toggle that to main to say, this is my main content container. And then I can go back to advanced. And on this container, I give this the content CSS ID and then publish it. So now if I view this page, I'm going to see my homepage content. And if I inspect it, I'm going to see that there is now a main and it has that ID of content that the skip link is working, looking for. So this is a way that you can fix it without any code right in the editor of Elementor. Obviously, if you have a lot of posts and pages, this is a huge time sink. It's a lot of work. So, I'm going to show you a way that you can fix this with a code snippet. So we have this code snippet. It's a JavaScript that you can load in the footer of your website. And what it will do is it will first look at every page. It will check to see if a main tag already exists. If it does already exist, it's then going to see, does it have the ID of content? If it doesn't have the ID of content, then it's going to add that ID to the main tag. If there is not a main tag, then it is going to look for the div that has data element or type attribute of either single post, wp-page, or wp-post. And then if that is available, it's going to create a new main tag with the correct ID and wrap it around that element. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to grab this script I am going to go back. I'm going to leave the editor and go back into WordPress. And then if I go to Elementor custom code, I can click add new custom code. And I want to paste the code that I've copied in. I also want to give it a meaningful title. So I'm just going to use this text add main tag with correct ID if missing to fix broken skip links in Elementor. So that's very descriptive. It's gonna tell me later on what this code is doing. I don't want it to be a location of head. I want it to be after the closing body. So slash body end. And then I'm going to hit publish. Elementor is then gonna ask me, where do you wanna do it? And I wanna do it on my entire site. So I'm gonna leave the default entire site, hit save and close. Now if you have caching or something, you may need to go and modify this. So, but we could just look real quick at a different page now, like the contact us page, for example. 
we can see it now has main ID equals content as the landmark wrapped around all of my main content without me having to do all that work of dragging and dropping all of those blocks on this page. And this was one where we could see before contact us flagged. So what I can do then, we can just check it on this specific page. If we go load the backend WordPress editor for the page, loading it causes it to trigger a scan. You'll notice we went in that second, I was talking from 14 errors to 13 errors. The broken skipper anchor link error is no longer present here. And if I refresh my open issues, we see it just disappeared from open issues. And I'm now down to 117. We can also look at this script on the front end of our website. Let's go back to the front end. And we can see this was the page that I had manually added a main tag to. And we don't have to worry about it adding an extra main tag. So on the dynamic ones, it's adding the main around. So on the contact page, it was outside of this div with the data element or type of WP dash page. On this page, it's inside of that div because this is the one I put in the editor and it is not going to add a second main tag. So it's not going to cause any problems. If you do this, it will only add it to the pages that are actually missing those main tags. So they have the right semantic markup. And then all I have to do is in accessibility checker, go to full site scan. I'm going to click new accessibility check. It's going to tell me how many posts and pages are going to be scanned. Then it's going to queue up and run through and scan all of the posts and pages. And we'll just have to wait a minute while it runs. I usually leave this tab open and I go take a look at something else. So I'll come back in just a minute when it's ready to be done. All right, so my scan is done. It's rescanned my entire website. I can go back over to my open issues where I was looking at all those broken skip and anchor links. I can hit refresh. And ta-da, I have zero broken skip or anchor links because that handy little code snippet fixed it for me on all of my posts and pages. So if you see that issue flagged in Elementor, that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button in YouTube and let us know if you have any questions in the comments.